In this video, we have a second example of using this formula, where we have the inverse Laplace transform, and when we find the Laplace, or what function it corresponds to, it's going to be a step function times the shifted function, not the function f of t, but f of t minus c. Um, a reminder now, the uh, playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org. The playlist for these videos is under the section Differential Equations. Okay, in the previous video, the problem that we had, we could pretty much just read off the solution by using our formula. This is derived not in the last video, but in the video before. But here, this is kind of in a strange form. Uh, it would probably be useful, perhaps, if we multiply the numerator first. So let's try that. So we have the inverse Laplace transform of 1 divided by s squared. Then we will have this times this minus e to the minus 2s divided by s squared. Then multiply here. We have e to the minus 4s with a minus sign before it again. Um, let's say make this a plus, so this comes out being a minus term. So we have minus, and this would be a plus term then, have alternating signs here. So we have plus e to the minus 4s divided by s squared, and then multiplying these two gives us a minus sign at the end, and this will be e to the minus 6s divided by s squared. So now for this problem, it looks very similar to the previous one now. Uh, the f of s is the same in each case. It's 1 over s squared. And that just corresponds then to the function t. If we have t raised to the first power, obviously, then its Laplace transform is 1 over s squared, and that just follows from a very simple formula here that we derived in the uh, previous videos in this series. s is 1, so you have 1 over s squared. So in each case, then, 1 over s squared, this times 1 over s squared, this times 1 over s squared, this times 1 over s squared. Uh, this should be a pretty basic problem then. Let's see what we get from it. This is just going to be t then. And as we pointed out in the previous video, if we want, we can say the step function u of t times t. And then from here we have minus e to the minus 2s. This gives us this point, this part of the formula. c corresponds to 2, so we are going to have u of t minus 2. And f of s is 1 over s squared, so the function that corresponds to that is t, but we need to have the shifted function, t minus c. In this case, c is 2, so this would be times t minus 2. And again, that's because here we have e to the minus 2s times 1 over s squared. This gives us this. 1 over s squared is t, 
but it has to be f of t minus c, and that term t was 2. So we're going to have u of t minus 2 times t minus 2. Let's not put this so close together. It might get confusing. So we have u, u of t minus 2 times t minus 2. A minus sign because this is a minus sign. Now we're going to have plus c is 4. So we're going to have u of t minus 4. And then 1 over s squared gives us t, but we're going to have t minus 4. So we have u t minus 4. That comes from this. And then we have 1 over s squared. Again, the function that corresponds to that is t, but it's going to be a shifted function because of this and how this formula works. f of t minus c, c is 4. So we're going to have, getting this back in position, this times t minus 4. And one more term to go. We have minus c is now 6. So we have u of t minus 6 over s squared. That's going to be t minus 6. So here's the inverse Laplace transform. Here's the function that it corresponds to. We went through it a little bit fast, but that's because this is our second example. And what we're doing here now is almost a repeat of what we just did in the previous video. But now we look at this, and we see we have several regions that we have to consider. We start at t equals 0. If it's less than 0, that's 0. So we start at t equals 0, then f of t is just t. But then when we get to the point where t equals 2, then this kicks in. And then when we get to the point where t equals 4, now this kicks in. Then when we get to the point where t equals 6, now this kicks in. So we have to think of this as sort of a composite function. If we want to try to graph it, let's see what we have. Um, here, when t is greater than 0, but less than 2 before this one kicks in, then f of t is just t. Now, when we get to the point here where we reach the value where t equals 2, now this is going to kick in. So now we consider t is greater than 2, but less than 4 before this one kicks in. So now the function is going to be what it was before, just t, minus t minus 2. Like this, and that is just 2. So we're, when, we, when we are in the region between t equal 2 and 4, f of t is just 2. Now we continue along. Now we're going to get in the region where t is past 4, but we have not yet gotten to 6. This one is not kicked in yet. Less than 6. Now the function is going to be what it was up to that point, just 2. Now at point, when we get past with the point where t equals 4, this is going to kick in plus t minus 4. And that will be equal to t minus 2. So f of t in that region 
is equal to t minus 2. Then finally, we get to the point where t equals 6. Now this one kicks in. And beyond, so we can just say where t is greater than 6. Now what do we have? Well, up to that point, it was this. So we have t minus 2. But now we get to the point where t equals 6. Now we're going to have minus this. When that kicks in, previously it was this. When t equals 6, this kicks in with a minus sign. And this equals t minus t is 0. Negative 2 plus 6 is plus 4. So in the different sections, we have this, 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 and this. Let's see if we can perhaps make a crude graph. We have t equals 0. This is t. This will be f of t. And we have t equal 2, t equal 4, t equal 6. When we're in the region where t is between 0 and 2, f of t just equals t. So this can be 2. Then the graph which is going to look like this, a straight line at a 45 degree angle, f of t equals t. Now we're in the region between 2 and 4. When we're in that region, f of t is just 2. So that takes us to here, that horizontal line. Now, when we're at, in the region between 4 and 6, f of t equals t minus 2. Well, at 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. When t equals 6, 6 minus 2 is 4. So here then, it goes like this. And then when we get beyond where t equals 6, it's just equal to 4. So the graph would be roughly like this. So if we have this kind of graph, That's the function for it. This would be the, the plus transform of that function. What we did, of course, was we began with a Laplace transform, took its inverse to get the function, and then we had to consider the function in different sections if we wanted to make a graph of that function, which we have right here, a very crude sketch of it. Um, okay, then, that's it for this video. Um, we'll try and work out some more examples here um, of using this formula. And also, um, when you have, maybe you want to start off with a certain graph, and then you have to consider how can we write the formula of the graph using the step function for more complicated examples. We'll try and consider those in uh, future videos.